insights to ramadan iftar at sunset this program reaches the english speaking listeners innovatively for the first time in sri lanka iftar at sunset brought to you by the sri lanka chapter of the world forum for sri lanka muslims and supported by the family of good assalamu alaikum welcome to insights to ramadan iftar at sunset today's speech is delivered by sheikh abdullah zahid bismillahir rahmanir rahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin was salatu was salam ala rasulihi al karim wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajmain all praise is indeed due to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the creator of the heavens and the earth we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send his choicest of blessings upon the best of creation muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his family his household and every single one who follows his guidance until the day of judgment amen my dear friends today inshallah ta'ala will in the brief time that we have with us we hope to discuss why do we fast in this month of ramadan what is the purpose of fasting in the month of ramadan Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala beautifully explains to us in Surah Al-Baqarah verse number 183 A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum as-siyam kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqun Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala says O oh, you who believe Fasting has been prescribed for you just as how it was prescribed for those before you. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the reason. He says, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that you may attain taqwa. Now what is taqwa my dear friends? Taqwa is generally translated amongst us as piety. Right? Piety, righteousness, the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some of us translate it as the consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. being mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let's look at one particular definition which our scholars rahimahumullah have explained they say taqwa is an taj'al baynaka wa bayna adhab Allah wiqaya which means to place a barrier between ourselves and the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to place a barrier between ourselves and the punishment of Allah which would mean that every single action of ours we are conscious that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching us and we need to ensure that any deed that we do is not going to earn Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's anger or Allah's punishment this is what taqwa is we live in a state of consciousness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching us at all times so we don't do anything which disobeys him and we don't do anything which earns his anger This is the essence of taqwa. Furthermore, Ali radiyallahu an, he reports slightly deeper definition of taqwa. Taqwa is al-khawf min al-jalil wal-amal bit-tanzil war-ridha bil-qalil wal-isti'dad li-yawm ar-rahil. A beautiful definition. He breaks it down into four different sections. Number one, he says al-khawf min al-jalil. which means to be conscious that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching us and due to that we fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring in a sense of fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala number 2 he says wal amalu bit tanzil which means we act upon we act upon the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we act upon what Allah has commanded us to do in the Quran and we follow the teachings of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sunnah That is number two. Then Ali radiallahu anhu says, وَالْرِضَى بِالْقَلِيلِ Which is a very important thing. He says to be content with the little that we have. Especially in today's times when we are living in a world where so many people across the globe are facing difficulties. There are so many people amongst the less fortunate in terms of finances, in terms of food and most in terms of basic necessities. This is a time we can practice contentment to be content with what Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us and to complain less. And number 4 Ali radiyallahu anhu says, "Wal isti'dad li yawm ar-rahil" to prepare ourselves for the hereafter. All of us are on a journey towards the hereafter, and the more we focus on the hereafter, 
the more we are able to build this concept of taqwa in our lives because every single day we are conscious of the actions that we perform is this action going to please allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is this particular action going to anger allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will i be punished for this particular action these questions when we ask ourselves is what would help us increase our taqwa we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from amongst the people of taqwa and we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward us for every single effort we make towards getting closer to him amin assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh the speech was delivered by sheikh abdullah zahid The sunset time right now is 6:21 in Colombo. It's now the time for the azan. Allahu akbar Allahu akbar. Allah أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا أشهد أن محمد الرسول الله أشهد أن محمد الرسول
اللهم رب هاجه الدعوة التامة والصلاة القائمة آت محمدا الوصيلة والفضيلة وبعثه مقاما محمودا الذي وعدته إنك لا تخلف الميعاد O Allah, the sovereign Lord of the ever establishing prayer and of this perfect call grant our leader prophet muhammad peace be upon him al wasila a high and special place in jannah which is the paradise and al fadila a rank about the rest of the creation and the highest rank and elevate him to maqam mahmud and exclusively praiseworthy primacy reserved only for the holy prophet muhammad peace be upon him and bless us with his intercession on the dooms day verily you do not do anything against your promise allahumma inni laka sumtu wa bika amantu wa alayka tawakkaltu wa ala rizqika aftartu oh allah I have fasted for you, I believe in you, I put my trust in you, and I break my fast with your sustenance. O Allah, you alone is all praise. You are the light of the heavens and the earth, and whatever is therein. For you alone is all praise. You are the maintainer of the heavens and the earth, and whatever therein. And for you alone, all praise. You are the truth. Your promise is the truth. Your speech is the truth. The meeting with you is the truth. Paradise is the truth. Hellfire is the truth. The final hour is truth. The prophets are the truth. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the truth. Wallah, I surrender myself to you alone. I put my trust in you alone. I believe in you alone. I turn to you alone. I complain of my opponents to you alone. I refer judgment to you alone. O oh Allah, accept all our good deeds. O oh Allah, guide us on the straight path. We listen to the Insights to Ramadan Iftar program. We will speak to you through the airways inshallah tomorrow at the same time. Assalamu alaikum. Insights to Ramadan Iftar at Sunset Iftar at Sunset brought to you by the Sri Lanka chapter of the World Forum for Sri Lanka Muslims and supported by the Family of Good Program produced by Razia Jaufer